What is the best way, really, to get wood in Minecraft? Today we're gonna test the top wood harvesting methods to see which one is really the king of wood harvesting. But the first thing we gotta do is get a control here to know how much do you actually harvest on average with a regular diamond axe. Forty-six. That's how much you get in about a minute of casual wood harvesting. So that's your kind of baseline. We'll be comparing these two, and we'll see if they're even better. Now, guys, this one right here claims to harvest seventy-two hundred plus wood per minute, which is literally three to four x what I just did. So let's see what this build looks like. So it looks like they're making some sort of a super tree on top of the pod zool. Wow. So their strat is literally to build a massive, super thick mega tree and then harvest it. And I guess that saves a lot of time. So guys, it's fourteen by sixteen. This is the dimensions. So there's, I guess, one chest right here in the middle, and that's the basic foundation. Okay, so your chest is in, you put the blocks on top of it, right? The staircase that I guess kind of conceal it from, I don't know what they're concealing it from, but that's the basics. Now we've got these, you actually gotta take water buckets, pour them all along the back row. This is like becoming a freaking engineering product. Okay, that's the start. Hey, we're getting there. All right, well, I think we've got it pretty much made at this point. I just don't have his fancy elevator. You fill this bad boy in with some fat saplings, and then it seems like all you do is just make them come to life. All right, he says you gotta start in the corner. Okay. Oh, we got one. That took a long time. We got one to grow. There we go. So that is your big, thick mega tree right there. So that's what we've created. Now, I guess everything that falls down, if I'm not mistaken, should, if we did it right, flow down, go over the ice, and then go right in there. I don't think you need that ice setup. It's kind of weird. But it goes in the hopper and then goes into your chest. So let's see how good this one is. One minute starts now. So you're pretty much getting like one wood a second on this one, which is very nice. I mean, you, you have to do no work except for the setup. But once you get this thing built, all you gotta do is use the saplings you get from when they break and you can replant it. So it really feels like it could be pretty sustainable. And look at this, like now that you're down here, you just go to work on the next layer. They all start combining, you get a super tree. Uh, anything you miss falls down. It's actually quite nice. I won't lie to you. It's quite nice so far. It's gonna be a struggle to beat this one. Time. This one came out to 79 wood per minute. Now that gives me 4,700 per hour. This guy claims it was 7,200 per hour. I don't know, maybe he got efficiency. If you do, it's probably gonna be that actual number. This is pretty, basically dark double as good as looking for regular trees. So guys, take a look at this. I mean, it's such oh, it uses TNT launchers to harvest the wood for you. Hey, this might be our new record breaker. It's going to take me about 16 hours to build, but uh, hey, I'm going to do it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this series. Oh, I do not feel good about this one. Dude, I hate this so much right now. Oh my goodness. He's so casual. He's like, God, we'll just put something right here. It'll be really easy. Dude, no. This is not easy. This is not simple. This makes no sense. What? 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 What, what, is, what is that? What? It's two pistons touching each other? What is even the reason for that to exist? I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out. You don't, don't you worry about me, gamers. I, I, I will confidently figure this one out. <laughs> Hold on. I just need to replay this for a minute here. Listen closely. I don't remember the design being this simple. I'm not alone, right? That is that is that is the last thing from simple. Deep breaths, you can do this. Deep breaths, in the nose. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. This is ridiculous. Yep, I'm a bit of a redstone engineer myself, guys. Take a look. We are getting. Just don't know what we're getting. We're getting something though. I don't remember the design being this simple. I hate it every time he says that. All right, I'm sick of looking at Mumbo's tricks, thinking he knows all the redstone tricks in the world. No, I'm here to change that forever. I'm here to show him. I, I know redstone tricks. Here we go, guys. First test of my build. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that's a great start right there. Love to see uh, things working as you uh, plan them. <laughs> Why are they backwards? A little laggy. We are absolutely getting there, guys. Now, this is going to be a little bit uh, confusing to a lot of you guys who don't understand redstone as well as I do, but you just wait your, you just wait yourself a second. And, all right, that, that's what I've created here. I don't feel like my redstone's quite as clean as his. It, it may not even work. Let's just try it. Oh. <laughs> what? All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not often I throw in the towel on a build like this because I really want to know how good this thing is, but there is no way in the world I will ever be able to figure it out with what I can see. This is a new level of, of genius. So, guys, this next one is for redstone experts only, and it's uh, it's it's a little bit more compact, and it might be just as fast, if not faster, than the last one. So this little build right here is what it looks like. Once you run the contraption, it automatically dispenses your bone meal, grows the tree for you, and you can pretty much sit there and just hold down. So which means you might be able to do this while AF. Okay, right, I'm making ours out of blackstone because it's my new favorite block. So block goes down, trapdoor goes on top of it, you're done. Got him. All right, there's actually a, a ridiculous amount of steps here. So let's get this thing going. Double observer. Now this is getting a little bit uh, a little bit much for me, folks. I don't know about that. How do you... 
Yo, look at this. Is this how you make a repeater with, with this? What the heck? I don't know. You can do that. Look, it just keeps flashing. Yo, you can make a repeater with two of these. Who knew? I didn't know that. That's crazy. That feels correct to me. I don't know. Guys, I feel very unconfident about this one working. I'm not going to lie to you. To be honest with you, I feel like we're missing a step here. He says once you place down your, your oak sapling, it, it just starts working. So I guess we'll, we'll turn it on. Okay, now we break it. But but where's the other? Oh, do you have to place your own sapling? Is, I'm not gonna. Confused. Where's the sapling come from? The plant itself. This just seems a little bit too manual. Okay, this is incredibly difficult to get to work. We're gonna get the test nonetheless in here and see what we get in one minute. This is a very challenging one. Here we go. A minute on the clock now. All right, here we go. He says this is AFKable. I cannot get it to be AFKable no matter what I do. I'm not really getting much of the wood. It seems like it's just kind of floating off in the ceiling. All right, so I got the flow of it now. I'm gonna try it again to give it a fair rating. So let's try it one more time. One minute on the clock. Here we go. It doesn't feel bad, I guess, but it's it's uh kind of awkward. I guess that's the move. You gotta do that really fast. Like break the bottom layer, get her place, go up, almost time. Okay, that's time. Let's see what we got here with. The I hate this build. I need to turn this thing off. Uh, you can see there's wood all over the ground, all over the ceiling. Uh, actually got us 44, and then also two strips. So here's all the scores so far. You can see what our leader is. Uh, this one is definitely my least favorite so far, just because it's really, really, really awkward. You're wasting a ton of resources on the ground. It's just annoying. I would not recommend this one. So guys, this one is actually an upgraded version that utilizes two of the previous builds we've used, combines them together, adds a TNT duplicator, and this one may be the best one. So if you stick around, you're gonna get in for a treat here. Okay, so we'll start again with the same basic beginning section. This is our wood harvester unit here. We basically are rebuilding the same tree generator contraption thing we had earlier. So if I turn this on. Okay, good. So this is the, the tree contraption from earlier. This is going to grow our trees. So we got that, that portion of it started, guys. These are probably the hardest redstone builds I've ever made. I, I did not expect this in the tree video today. All right, I can't tell you how long it took me to place slabs like that, calculate how many there were, count it, put them there, but we got it. This is what we're looking at now. Again, dude, I, look, I, look, I don't understand why people do this, but we're here, all right? There's also a slab on top of this. I don't know why if that matters, but there we go. All right, next step. This one really is going to a nuclear level, folks. Uh, next step, though, it says a uh, dispenser with saplings to AFK longer. And he actually places it, uh, weirdly enough, here. So I don't know how that's going to tie into our build, but hey. Hey, guys, it says we're ready to test it, all right? I followed this whole tutorial from start to finish. I built this massive contraption. Supposedly, we're ready. And actually, the way he does it is he actually stands here and then plants it there. And uh, this thing would supply him with saplings in his inventory. So, yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, we're ready to go. So I'm going to turn my switch to turn this thing on, as we saw earlier. There it is. So she's on. She's locked and loaded. We're going to get into position here, place our tree, see what happens. Uh, just waiting for her to grow here. Oh, there she goes. She grows. Okay, I don't know why it's pushing that one out. That was weird. Um, it seems like we, di we didn't, definitely didn't get a signal. All right, here we go again. Here we go again, guys. We're going to plant it again. This should move all the pistons this time, I think. <laughs> okay. I did a little bit of a weird decision here to try to fix the redstone. I'm going to try it again and see if this fixed it. Okay, there it is. It worked. It actually worked. Oh my gosh. I spent an hour trying to make this thing and it actually worked. Look at this. Now you can sit here, hold down right click or put something on your mouse. Go AFK and it's actually going to work. Yes. Let's give it the minute test guys and see what it can do. All right. One minute starts now. Here we go. Okay. So far, it, once you get it built, it's definitely the easiest method because you are using a TNT duplicator, which also I can't believe I built that correctly. That's good. Yeah. That's not going to damage me. That's fantastic. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. Happy days. We did it. This is incredible. Now I will say the bone meal is not exactly growing it that quickly. Like it seems like some of, the, some of these wait sessions are extremely long for it to work. Yeah. I've just seen a lot of TNT. That's time. Uh, we'll go ahead and see. Does one more TNT fall? Okay, there is a, a little bit of a TNT breakage where it seemed to fall over here somehow. But despite that, let's see what we've got so far. 42? Oh, I'll tell you what, that, that actually was a lot more effective than I thought. You could expand that base knot a little bit down there. Um, Very, very, very difficult build to get this thing to work. This might be one of the best because you can actually AFK it. Probably going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Yo, look at this. All right, just this is just an image of what the next one is supposed to be like. Who do, who do these people think? How bad do you want wood? Look, I know we're trying to test. I'm just pointing out there is a limit. This seems to be at that limit, but let's see what it does. We can now grow ourselves an oak tree. And there we go. The thing is fully harvested and put into the output of the farm. What? Why would anyone ever take the time to make something like this? What is the purpose of these people, man? Look at this, guys. We're surrounded by so many trees, and yet people think it's necessary to make these inventions. I'm, I'm not. Look, I'm just calling them out. Right? I'm just saying it's a little bit much. Let's give this thing a shot, though.
Okay, guys, so after I can't even put into words how long I've gone, somehow this is what I've come up with. I don't I don't know exactly where I went wrong on this one, but again, I'm gonna give this one a negative score because there is just no reason to put that much effort into wood. Peace.